Okay, I'm going to show you how to disconnect and reconnect the Z-axis quill drive using a centroid. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your controller is in the continuous mode. Jot the Z down to the minus limit switch, then press F1 for setup, F5 for three axis. The Z now becomes a quill. At this point, you're going to lock the quill lock lever, reach in, and disconnect the uh, ball nut locking screw, one full turn, and at this point you can unlock the quill lock and now your z-axis is disconnected and you still have z-axis feedback on the screen. Now you can use your machine as a manual machine or you can use it as a two axis if you simply jog the X and Y buttons which will repower the, the X and Y axis leaving the Z axis disconnected now you have a two axis CNC. To go back to the three axis mode first step we're going to do is we're going to lower the quill back down to the minus position as far as it can go, bottoming it out on the quill drive. Lock the quill lock lever, come back over and tighten up the quill lock screw to 22 foot pounds. Now, I've got to feel myself what the 22 foot pounds is, but if you want, we can offer you a preset 22 foot pound torque wrench that will automatically tell you where it's set. Swivel the tag back over, re loosen up the quill lock. Take your handle back off, come back over to the screen, and now you will have the quill here go F1 for setup, and now the F5 button says three axis. It toggles back and forth between three axis and two axis. If you're in the two axis mode, this says three axis. If you're in the three axis mode, this says two axis. F5 for three axis. The controller will give you a chance to reconnect the Z again, but also with our mode sensing switch installed on the Z quill drive on the new Centroids with the Windows, the CNC 11 systems, the mode sensing switch will also tell you if it's connected or disconnected. Hit F5 again, it goes away. Now the Z is back up to the uh, on the display, and I can hit tool check. And we're back up and running in the Z axis mode. And that's how you connect disconnect and reconnect the Z-axis quill drive with the uh, Centroid system.